la legge islamica diventa obbligatoria solo con la pubertà. Prima della pubertà tu sei musulmano in potenza, dopo la pubertà vedi questo, questa testa che è diventata un crescente. A me ricorda, ricorda questo, però possono essere anche mie. Eh. E inizierei a scrivere. Cosa inizierei a scrivere? I think that now maybe because we have a lot of tools, I was surprised when I saw all this bendy deal. Uh, what, as I go, uh, Malanda, you can help me with showing some things, if you don't mind. Tomorrow it will be the opposite. I will be the assistant of Malanda, because he uh, will be dominating the scene. <laughs> There's the first question from the... I, uh, you didn't introduce yourself, so you can that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm capturing you. <laughs> Part of the lab. No, just his uh, head. Yeah. Just his head. Head. Head means like a ras. Mm -hmm. Head. 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 head is also head. Yeah. How do you call this part of the lab in Hausa? Kappa. What does kappa mean in Hausa? Means like legs. Ah. How do you call this part of the lab in Hausa? This is uh, like body. Okay, so it is really. Maybe, yes. Uh, can you, is it nice in a Quranic school if you put your love like this? No, 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 it's not allowed to put... <laughs> okay. It's not allowed to put your... Yeah, yeah. This makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But the transformation of the egg, of the egg, like the potency, this is something that I'm saying, that I submitted to one Quranic teacher, and he says, yes, it makes sense. But he didn't say, like, this is not something that people teach, right? Yes, it makes sense. And he told me also, you must understand that in the past, those who used to make these things used to have their own asra, so their own secrets. They used to be like come in a corporation in our Italian, European, medieval world, where each corporation of artisans has their own secrets or symbols. So as today, it is not easy it has transformed into something else. So maybe we don't find it explicitly, but he used to say, yes, this might be one of the secrets that they used to, to, to have. This is one of the Quranic teachers that, I, that I've interviewed, but I want to do this question again when I will go. Um, yes, of course. Now, you will start like this, like your room. Now it is empty. You cannot write the first parts of the Quran. Will you write the letters, Alif, Ba, Ta, at the beginning? No. No. Very interesting. You will not start by learning the alphabet. Yes. The first things you are, you are going to learn is uh, started from also be lying in a shaitan of a I will seek refuge in God from the, the, the devil, the curse. Yeah, this is already here. Like this one, the first lesson any child uh, is going to receive from his teacher. And uh, of course, this he cannot write. Uh, his master, his teacher, will start and write this way, I think it's slow, but he just write out to be in one lesson. He can take like one, two weeks before he learn the secretary. Ah, Ali, Ali, I'm going to this is, uh, maybe a professor will uh, elaborate more, but each letter, as it is our name in Hausa, 
which does not correspond to the Arabic name of the letter. Right? Yes, yes. So because if you look, uh, they give its name according to their appearance. For example, Alif. This one is normal in Arabic. Ambaki. Ambaki is Ain, but Ain uh, is uh, Ambaki. Baki is in mouth. Because it, it looks like an open mouth. Open mouth. So, so the house, uh, maybe one thing that is very important that they yes. yes. mentioned is that house is the language that yeah. is spoken in the area of the house. So when you say in house, it means the language. Yeah, yeah. So there are house names that help the children memorize the shape of the letters. But it's very important that, as we have said, children don't learn <coughs> the letters separately. In Arabic, in fact, you write the letters in a different way if they are joined with other letters or separate. It's not a, it's a cursive style of writing. It's not a capital, mm, mm, stampadello style of writing. So you learn words. In fact, you learn formulas. You learn the formulas, you learn as the Quran starts. Mm. Because the purpose is not to teach you to use a language for writing, of course, you will learn to write and, and read in a language. But the real objective of this kind of learning is a sacred learning. So you will learn like these words. And I think it's very important psychologically. Your perception of what the letters are, I think, might change. Because I've never learned like this. I learned A, B, G, D, E, F, G, A, Poi, Ba, Be, Bi, Bo, Bu, Ka, Cha, Pa, Cha. That's how I learned. But I think in the mind of a learner at four years who starts learning, it starts quite early, at about four or five, uh, starts learning and they learn not the letters separated, but first the words, the formulas. This letters, letters, the second stage is also teacher will write you who is vocalization like uh the patha mean is uh patha is a then ambaki is rupa is o so it is continuous like this until the ch uh, child know if we put vocalization of is a it is down e or we put rupa is o. but this will come at a later stage yeah. all right the first is these two formulas, I seek refuge in God from the devil, the cursed, in the name of God, the merciful, the beneficent. And this, how much does it take for a child to... So, they will write this on the board, right? The first day maybe they write all of this? Uh, no, no, just this one is maybe because of some, but the route it is very clear. Uh, also be like only this one can take children, uh, child uh, like two weeks. Two weeks. What does the child do in two weeks with uh, with a law when there is one sentence written out of with that? Uh, what do they do? They read? They read. They took a little number of words to memorize daily, daily. But somehow it's listening to others how they read their law because of this as we show this that two different uh, many children and in is on stage this is very important. Stage. Yes. very important thank you so much yes there is no concept of separate classes yes children go at their own stage oh, yes. so yes indirectly you learn a lot of things from students yes. while it's more advanced one is beyond you one is behind you so in fact it is fantastic i i'm not sure i can find the the, the video but entering into one of these schools is a experience you know um, John Coltrane, the jazz artist John Coltrane? It was a period he started as a b-boy jazz artist, then he developed his own style. And in the 60s, he was experimenting with a very cacophonic sort of jazz, where he would put two orchestras, two jazz orchestras, and create this very spiritual music, but extremely disturbing, almost cacophonic, something like cacophony, uh, cacophonic, right? Cacophonia. But very intense. Now, the Coranic School has, to me, reminded me of this experience when I used to listen to John Coltrane. It's a cacophony. Anyone who uh, I have some videos like this. Very crowded 
and you have a teacher who has perfectly memorized the Quran because to be a Quranic teacher you do not need to know the Quran, you need to have memorized the Quran, who goes around, this we have to do with it, it means politically incorrect, with a salt, eh? with a stick, goes around in a class of 200, 300, yeah. and in that cacophony, I don't know how he does, but he recognizes that he's taken. Yes, yes. yes. I have a video, very nice video. I, I hope I can find it. Uh, yeah, the, the previous picture, maybe you can find one more sandwich. Yes, in that picture, yeah. only one room is. Uh, we can count. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Yeah, look at this. This is one class. No, no, no. What did you say? Oh, say, tell us. This is one class. Ci ha quasi un dieci. Di venti, venti, trenta, quaranta, cinquanta, sette, un'ottantina, no? Yes, look at this one. And look at this, it's not so much more advanced. So anyone read and the, the teacher listen, if you, if you, you need, maybe he can uh, teach you just two letters, three letters, or one verse, two verse. When you memorize it, you come back to him in the front of the class, he will really teach you again, go to your seat. It will be your teacher to tell you when you are done with the lesson. With the lesson. Yes. Some people one day, some people two days, some people three days. Then what do you do? It's very important for us. You erase. You are very interested in erasure, right? Cancellare, you know? How do you remove the ink? Do you use a rubber or a gomma? No. No. Yeah. Usually in uh, a Quranic school, we have some like, very small hole, deep hole, like, like in two or twenty inch, like or ten inch, like, depending on the type of soil. So we build some like um, small bit beside it. Then any children, any child who finish or memorize his law, teacher will allow him to arrest. It is very interesting moment, and you are happy that you memorize. Ah, oh, okay. Teacher, tell, tell, tell me to go and arrest my. He will write a new lesson for me. So you go uh, with water. Only this time you are doing this. With oh. Love. Oh, yeah. So you take water like this. With your hand? Yeah, with your hand, washing it. And if it, uh, the ink is very strong, you have to, from the deep, you took like some clay and. Um, some oh, yeah. yeah, or sand. Make it very, uh, wash it very well. So, well, but you said something, I don't know why. You said, do you need a special hole? Why don't you just use the. Um, uh, lavandino. Lavandino. Perché non usi lavandino? You said also you have to build a small walls like this. Yes. Why do you build a small wall? Because uh, the Quranic letters in uh, Muslim culture is something sacred. So you are not allowed to put the wash water of these letters into the like uh, uh, toilet or place even to wash. It. Of course. You have to find a secure place where no one can do it or no one can put it outside or into the uh, so you can wash it there. This is a special place. Sometimes under a tree, under a tree, the big tree, we dig this hole and uh, wash. And in each, each and every school, right school, must have this place for washing. Yeah. Even if you someone sings, so you. Wash it in the ground, you report it to the teacher, maybe he will beat you <laughs> because of this. this is, you, you have to. And, and if happen you are going to wash it in your home, you have, uh, in my home, uh, in the school, have to have some, a bowl, a bowl, small bowl, you wash it, and after you wash it, you drink. You drink. Why do you drink? Yeah, yeah. Well, then, Why do you drink? It is, uh, it is, we believe that. Uh, to drink these letters, it is something. Uh, yeah, it is uh, sweet. Uh, it is something uh, spiritual and uh, increase your spirituality to be moral. Even if there are some specific verses, you have to write. Okay, you have to write in order to increase increase your brain activities in memorization. So we believe that any verse of the Quran. Can be drink. For example, I seek refuge with a 
God from the devil and the, okay this word means that you seek protection from the God so if you write this and wash it and drink God will protect you so this is why each bus must be washed either if you don't want to drink you have to deposit it in a secure place if not you can drink it there is another you know, verse, for instance, just to give you an example, amongst thousands of what Father is saying. It is from a surah of a chapter in the Quran, which is talking about the Prophet Joseph, who, as in the Bible, in the Quran is described as beautiful, is the most beautiful of all the prophets. Awesome. Women, uh, Musa. Is it about Musa? No, it's about Musa. Okay, yes. When he was born. Yeah, yes, when he was Yes. Uh, so, and the verse says, means, and I have thrown a law unto you. So when you see that people have used this verse to read, usually it will not be a child, but normally it will be a young man who is uh, wanting to marry a woman. Yeah. And so this verse increases the power of attraction and love. Yeah. and can be combined also with various formulas. We will have time to enter into it uh, slightly later. We will get into this the more if we want talismanic aspects, only for five minutes later. Uh, now I wanted just to imagine, do you to imagine a life made of writing, memorizing, committing to memory. So reading, na -na 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 the whole the full day, erasing, and writing again. You want to imagine this flower that grows, you have one and then a second one bigger, etc. And uh, I want us to start looking at some samples of flower from different stages of Quranic education, from the beginners to the adults. In the meantime, I will a short video of a very gifted child. He is only maybe about 11 or 12, but he has already reached a very advanced level, and we see him writing. Here, one, so when you reach here, you have five. So this one is uh, 
sine of phi this verse. So when you continue, when you come here, you have uh, here, you have uh, 20 or 10 bars. From here, 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 10 bars. From here, here is 10 bars. You understand? So this one is an uh, advanced level of This one is S part. You see there, without using any type of, sometimes we use uh, to write with ruler, like showing type and line. Right? Yeah, because once someone started, you see right here, here, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the right line is straight line is ruler, so the child can follow. But after that, come like this. It's very straight and they are not using any sign on. Yeah. So this advanced level, this one is for teacher. Uh, this one is on another, another level, less than, less than this. But it's also advanced level. You see? Okay. Okay. Um, then you have something else. Your love at the end of this process will take even another shape. This is the final shape. This is your diploma. Where you of course. have written the Quran once, not necessarily memorized. From the end, because you start from the end of the Quran actually. The reason is that the chapters in the end of the Quran are very short. Mm. The chapters in the beginning of the Quran are very long. So you start from the end, you end from the top, from the beginning. When you have done it, a specialist will prepare a special diploma for you that will always have the beginning of the Quran, the first verses, and the first verses of the second chapter on the other side, and your name. This is, doesn't have a name, it was done yeah, just for, for decoration. Yes, right? but not uh, before. This name is, uh, I can say, just something that I'm modern. Using, modern. Yes. Uh, 20 years, 30 years before, we had, there are no name on the any one of these now. This one is uh, started past uh, bas, uh, Surah chapter of Quran, Alhamdulillah. So when you finish Quran from the beginning to the end, uh, we have what we call Sokka. This is what yeah, it is. Soka. It's a ceremony, a graduation ceremony yeah. for the end of the Quranic school, yeah. at least of this stage of the Yes, yes. Sokka literally means to come down from the top. So it is like uh, something to show that you started from the beginning to the end. So this one is like a diploma. Each and every child must have this in his home. Even if, if you are a woman going to a marriage house, you will see this one and the other. Like you put a picture. So anyone comes to your home, you know that you will finish the Quran. It will be like the, the decoration. And you will sit These are some examples yeah. of ceremonies. Yes. You will sit in front of your teacher. You will recite this surah. This is a seven verses. Then you will uh, turn the law and recite the first surah of the Quran. This is to show you that you finish, but you are going to restart again. Maybe you have uh, just read without memorization, then you are going back to start. So we like a teacher giving you commands. Uh, you finish, but you are going to start again. So you will recite in Fatiha, and this is the first, uh, second surah of the Quran, so you can. And when he finished, uh, the food should be served before. Oh, uh, like 20 years, we know when I are a child, the soup, the, uh, the one who finished the Quran, he bring some food in the big bowl and spread and distribute the children uh, to mark the end of the Quran. Some, some people slaughtering gods all around to celebrate on this. But now it's somehow it's. Professor no, I don't think we need to enter too much into this, but it's yes, of course yes. very interesting part. I just want to, um, but there will probably be time for questions, we hope. We also want to do the ink. So I will go very briefly through two things. One is to imagine this. Of course, we mentioned that the symbolic power of this. First of all, just think that people are doing this over and over and over again for hours and hours and weeks and weeks months and months and years and years. Second, as I've said, there is this 
anthropomorphic, very implicit, anthropomorphic, discrete, anthropomorphic symbolism that they enhance the power, but the most important thing, which is not implicit, it is very explicit, is that the Quran tells us that before being in paper, it was on a law. This word law, tablet, is found in the Quran itself. The Quran itself says that this is a glorious Quran preserved in a tablet. So there is this idea in Quran, in Islamic theology, that there is a sort of prototype, mystical prototype, heavenly prototype of the Quran preserved in heaven, which is a law, not necessarily a physical law, but it's called law. Also think that this word, preserved in Arabic, means also memorized. Yes. It, and I think here everyone knows in Nigeria that there is an association, that there is a symbolism between God who preserves the Quran in a heavenly prototype, I as a human that preserve the Quran by memorizing it. Hmm? So these are very powerful, I think, symbols. Now, when I finish, what do I do? I can marry off, I can be married off, It's passive because someone marries you to someone. Um, I can uh, start my job, my work, I can leave basically the Quranic school if I 